Hi, Steve Teresi here at JL Audio, here to talk about the latest iteration of our W1 subwoofers. When you have our most popular subwoofers in the W1s, anytime you make a change, you got to make sure you cover all the bases. And with the version 3, we've definitely covered all of those bases. Starting from the much improved cosmetics from the previous versions, you can take a look, and this is a really gorgeous looking speaker. From the back to the front, uh, I just think it looks fantastic. But the changes are more than just skin deep. There's tons of stuff going on behind the scenes that make this our best product in the W1 line to date. One thing I really like about the W1V3 is the fact that you can use it with moderate powered systems. You don't need tons of power. Any system up to about 300 watts is an excellent choice for the W1 subwoofers. Another great thing about the W1V3s is the fact that they have a very shallow mounting depth. And the fact that there is no vented pole piece allows you to get right up to the back side of the enclosure without the need to worry about pole vent clearance issues like you do on other products. Additionally, the box volume requirements for these woofers is actually quite compact. For the details on that, please check the specifications tab on our website. What gets me really excited about the W1V3s is the fact that it shares so many really neat technologies with our higher level products, things like FCAM, which is the floating cone attachment method, the VRC, the vented reinforcement collar, DMA, we have a specially controlled lead wire system that we use, we have the special sub-assemblies that we put into the product, elevated frame cooling, tons of different things to make the product not only perform better, but to be more reliable as well. With all this incredible technology wrapped up in an absolutely beautiful package, I really think that our engineers nailed this one. I strongly encourage you to go to the JL Audio dealer and give them a listen.